What's up YouTube, Mike from Mass here, Mass Aquariums, and in tonight's video, I have been getting tons and tons and tons and tons of questions on this tank, and I do have a ton of series out there, but uh, I'm going to try to narrow it down to just a two-part series, and we're going to call it Intro to High-Tech Planted Tanks for the Beginner, folks. This series is for the beginner. So all you awesome planted tank guys out there like Tom Barr and ADU and Joey Young and you know on and on and on. Nick Mock 007 which I haven't heard from in over two years now. Uh, you guys don't need to watch this video. You guys already know what you're doing. And you guys know how to make planted tanks beautiful. So this th this video two-part video series is going to be for the beginner because I like to do things low-tech and easy maintenance for everybody to enjoy uh, but if you're gonna get into high-tech tanks this is the video for you and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm running everybody always asks asks what are you running here what are you running there what do you do here what kind of fish stock blah, 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 blah. I answer a ton of questions from my subscribers and I love answering questions because why do you make videos if you're not going to answer the questions? So, in this first part, I'm just going to go over exactly what I have for this tank and that's it. And then in part two, I'm going to explain how I'm running everything. You know, pretty simple. So, uh, this is a 40 gallon breeder tank from Marineland. Um, I'm running a Marineland planted LED light on this tank and it's raised up by two giant beer glasses because I did not want to suspend it in my second living room. So that's a quick uh, DIY right there. I have a glass top on this tank and I'm running a Fluval 406 canister filter. I'm running a GLA five pound CO2 tank with dual regulator and I'm running that at three bubbles per second. I have a high door 240 gallon per hour circulation pump and that is it. I have no other equipment on this tank. Oh sorry I'm running a uh, Fluval M series 100 watt heater as well on this tank. Uh, I'm running just pretty much the bare essentials to any tank. You know, there's a bunch of stuff, high-tech stuff you can run on tanks. Uh, that's it. Uh, simple diffuser on the CO2 tank. You know, simple canister filter. Bottom uh, tier CO2 system from GLA. By bottom tier, it was still was $400, but it was by no means the thousand or higher you can get now sorry just hit the thing by high tech high tech tanks you have to maintain and you have to watch out when you first start off with running your co2 and planting your tank you're going to come into all sorts of algae problems you're going to come into getting having to dial uh things in as they say uh, with the amount of plants you have, with the amount of CO2 you're running, with the timing of your lights. Now, one thing I've always said is I think you want to make the light time duration your X factor. By that, I mean plant the shit out of your tank, run your CO2 at two or three bubbles per second to start, and make the duration of your light and the intensity of your light the factor that controls uh, and balances out your tank. All right, so everybody's like, well, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? All right, so uh, the intensity of your light, you need to figure out at what height you want your intensity uh, to be. Now, all high lights are going to be like pretty much blaring, and you can deal with par and this or that and watts per gallon, but you know what? I can't stand all that shit. I can't stand the par, I can't stand the watts per gallon, I can't stand the 
spectrum and all that stuff I'm just gonna make it easy for you because that's what my videos are all about making it easy for you now this light right here it will sit right on top of your tank and over the course of the first four months I've raised it up twice I put it on little scotch glasses because I didn't want to suspend it still algae 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 I put it on giant 20 ounce beer glasses perfect now let's say this is probably about 8 to 10 inches off the top of the tank and balance has been achieved so intensity of light is in my book I mean if you put it right on top of the tank and it's just blasting on top of your tank like crazy you're gonna get algae so you raise the light up and this tips have been from all my buddies and you know you do what you do and then you figure it out and you raise the light up off the tank until you find that balance now duration of light you know you can really do it with co2 you can have the duration be anywhere from 8 to 12 14 hours but i don't see a necessity for that at all you want to have the light on when you can view the tank so my light comes on at uh, four o'clock the blues come on to let the fish know hey what's up and then the whites come on at 4 30 and then I shut the tank down at 11 and 11 30 so you know it six hours seven hours max is all I really think you need on a tank I think the less light the better and once you figure your intensity out where you have to set it on top of the tank that's pretty good too uh, so high-tech tank for beginners go with beginner plants don't jump into all these crazy dwarf baby tears and reds and all these crazy plants that you are going to need to dose your tank like crazy as well as having your par right on the money for your LEDs and your co2 right on the money for that you know start with some easy plants start with Anubias Java fern jungle val Crips Blixa boost you know you name it there is a ton of plants out there that you can grow with or without co2 but really really thrive with co2 like you see in this tank right here um don't go starting up a tank right away before you've even balanced it out or figured out uh your light schedule your co2 uh your light intensity you know your fish load and then just go get a bunch of high-tech planted tanks uh, sorry planted plants and then fire up your co2 and blast your lights and think that everything is gonna be honky-dory it's not gonna be honky-dory you know you gotta start off slow and really get into oh and that's how it always goes the light always goes off but this is a good segue into part two I've said enough for part one, and I hope you enjoy this video. Mellow out to the night lights. I'm out.